Hey guys, so I was wanting to do this a little bit differently. Um, if you can hear the kids, it's because they're either a waking up because I'm doing because I'm doing a video, or two because they're just trying to go to sleep. But um, I have my laundry here, as you can see, maybe <laughs> like I have my laundry, and I was debating on doing this or not because usually I. And I was debating on doing this or not because usually I don't do like sit down videos. I do like day in the life recipes and stuff like that. But today clothes on the floor. It's because I got a bag over here to get rid of and it's just, it's a mess. But I just wanted to touch bases with everybody. I haven't been vlogging as much because I had my gallbladder sur surgery done almost a month ago. Um, it'll be a month ago Friday. And... Aubrey turns a year old tomorrow, so that's really emotional right now, and I just, I don't know what I'm going to do, like, I'm going to hang in there because she turns a year old, but she's growing up, she's not that infant any, anymore, and, um, you know, it's hard to believe that a year ago tomorrow, I was, I gave birth to her, like, I was in labor saying all I want is food but that's a that's a heartwarming moment and and the other thing is like I have a lot of stuff going on with me I'm battling depression and I feel like I'm hitting a roadblock with a lot of things because you know I'm not the one to go and be like I'm depressed I'm bipolar I'm this I'm that and there's nothing wrong with it but a lot of people go out a lot of people go out and they claim all this stuff just to get medicine and I just I really don't want to be diagnosed with depression even though I know I am look at this hole in our towel <laughs> the washer machine ate it so this is like our dying towel when we do our hair and stuff but <laughs> anyways you know, me and Tyler's going through a lot. If you don't know who Tyler is, he's my husband. Um, we've been fighting, but I don't, I'm not going to say what about or anything like that because obviously it stays, it doesn't go on video. That's been eating me up because, you know, we're just, we're staying into it. Every time we get to where we're fine, something always happens and we're not fine. And that's that's not helping my depression mason he's got like i know he has adhd and i have a feeling he has anger problems um a little bit if you can hear the kids it's because they're either a waking up because i'm doing a video or two because they're just trying to go to sleep but um i have my laundry here as you can see, maybe, <laughs> like, I have my laundry, and I was debating on doing this or not, because usually I don't do, like, sit-down videos, I do, like, day-in-the-life recipes and stuff like that, but today I have any clothes on the floor, it's because I got a bag over here to get rid of, and it's just, it's a mess, but I just wanted to touch bases with everybody. I haven't been vlogging as much because I have my gallbladder sur surgery done almost a month ago. Um, it'll be a month ago Friday. And Aubrey turns a year old tomorrow, so that's really emotional right now. And I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to hang in there because she turns a year old, but she's growing up she's not that infant any anymore and um you know it's hard to believe that a year ago tomorrow i was i gave birth to her like i was in labor saying all i want is food but that's a that's a heartwarming moment and and the other thing is like I have a lot of stuff going on with me. I'm battling depression and I feel like I'm hitting a roadblock with a lot of things because, you know, I'm not the one to go and be like, I'm depressed, I'm bipolar, I'm this, I'm that, and there's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of people go out, 
a lot of people go out and they claim all this stuff just to get medicine and I just I really don't want to be diagnosed with depression even though I know I am look at this hole in our towel <laughs> the washer machine ate it so this is like our dying towel when we do our hair and stuff but <laughs> anyways you know me and Tyler's going through a lot if you don't know who Tyler is he's my husband um, we've been fighting but I don't I'm not gonna say what about or anything like that because obviously it stays it doesn't go on video that's been eating me up because you know we're just we're staying into it every time we get to where we're fine something always happens and we're not fine and that's that's not helping my depression I know he's three and I'm not trying to diagnose him with anything but he just he bounces off the walls way too much he has a hard time focusing and he's a really smart kid and if you go back and I'll link the um I'll link the videos to all that going on right here in the i cards yeah right here but he's been having a hard time shutting his brain off to go to sleep and then he wakes up and he can't shut his brain off again and that's a big mess but I've been dealing with that I've been dealing with his um like like I don't even know where to start because he's like He's really smart. He can count to 40. He's three, but he can count to 40. He can say all of his colors. He knows, like, really the hard colors. He knows all of his shapes. Um, like, he, he knows his states, and he knows some of his capitals. I mean, he's a really smart kid, but he's just, like, I can't get him to focus. I can't get him to sit down and shut off and just, you know, focus. And that's part of the reason that um, he got kicked out of kindergarten or preschool and now he has to go to Head Start. Which I didn't know that because I asked his teacher how he was doing and she said he was fine. And um, the Head Start lady called me yesterday and we got to talking and she said, you know, I, you know, she's like, I believe he has ADHD too and, you know, this program will help him and everything like that. And I was like, at first I was really mad about it and but now he's going to get the help he needs um, he's going to get that extra attention and if he has ADHD like his dad and everything then he'll get the proper he'll get the proper treatment and um, everything like that so that's good um, this is my first time doing one of these videos so excuse me while I'm trying to jot everything I had on my head but I just, I needed to vent and I don't really have anybody to vent to. So, as crazy as this is, <sighs> I'll come to you guys. Because, like, I don't know everybody that follows me and I don't know everybody that's going to watch this video. But, it's just, it's nice to know that I have friends on YouTube and... I've always had some type of support because it's like, as crazy as this is, it's like, do I tell people in my family how I feel and they judge me and, you know, they're like, you always have something going on and when it's not, it's really not, it's just how everything's played out, like, and it's, it's really hard. It's just, it's really hard but you know like Tyler like this okay when I had my gallbladder taken out um, Tyler took off a week of work so that he could help with the kids and me and I had to stay in the hospital for a whole week um, almost a whole week I went in Monday they found out I had gallstones um, after three years of having the pains and then they sent me home Tuesday I went back in and then they kept me Wednesday I had my surgery but all that will be linked in the I cards but you know so that really that really cut us short and he only made like $59 and he, we had to get like food and um, gas with it for like both of us and for him to go back to work fourth and work 
so <clears throat> that was really nice <coughs> hang on any we had to get like food and um, gas with it for like both of us and for him to go back to work for and work so <clears throat> that was really nice you know when you got bills and rent and kids to take care of and groceries and everything it's it's hard once once when one thing happens it's a it's like a cause and effect that's you have to figure out how to come with rent because that money that you had planned out what for rent is now bills and bills is now rent and it just gets you further and further behind and we don't want to take out a loan because then we'd have to pay back the loan and that'd put us even more behind and it's just it's stressful it's crazy but you know being young um it's hard I'm not, it's really hard but going back to what I was saying um Tyler is not staying with us this week because um, after bills and we got charged um, we th I, I seriously think somebody stole our identity my husband's credit card because we had over forty dollars worth of stuff get charged and I really think somebody stole his card number so that's getting changed in the process so we did not have gas money you know for work and everything like that and so Tyler's staying with his mom and dad till Friday till the check hits so because he gets paid by the week so with that being said it's just me and the kids and you know both the kids are sick but like I said I really needed somebody to open up to and if you like these videos um, give it a thumbs up I'm gonna try to get better at doing them but I'm just trying to pour my heart out but it's just it's rough it's really really rough and I, I can't say that I have the worst of the world because I don't I mean there's people out there suffering there's people without a home with without food without kids without a husband or a, a husband or a spouse and you just you never know you know and I always try to be grateful I always try to like smile on camera and uh, but it's hard because it's like it's like how do you hide how do you hide that smile like how do you hide all that depression behind the smile it's like I can say oh yay look at us you know we're going here we're going there but deep down inside I don't feel it I don't I don't feel happy and I don't know maybe I need to go see a counselor but you know at the same time it's it's hard and you know like I can only blame myself for my depression but at the same time it's like people do things to depress me and it's like how can you sit there and not be depressed and it's like you know people say well don't let those people affect you but how can you not when they live in the same home with you or um you know they live right by you and you know their family like and I don't I don't associate with all my family but it's just like you have those people to talk to because they're the only ones that you have close and they're not trying to be mean or rude or anything but you know because they're always there to listen to you so you kind of not kind of you need to be there to listen to them and it's just like it's so depressing it's like oh every day something new something's something's going on and to be honest I don't even watch the news I I refuse to watch the news I'm like why would I watch this you know I have so much going on in my life you know if I'm gonna see it I'm gonna see it on Facebook but it, I don't know but if you like these videos don't forget to give me um, a like a comment and don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna try to start doing new videos every Monday through Friday again but based on how things are going it's probably not gonna be Monday through Friday um, you know I'm aiming for it but who knows it's a uh, 
I'd say take it as it is, go with the flow, punches kind of day. You know, like today I was trying to do a day in the life. And I couldn't because I wasn't expecting to have a gallbladder attack, even though my gallbladder's out. But it was just the thing of, you know, I'm, I started to do it and then boom. Every time I went to go vlog or anytime I went to sit down, my stomach started tightening up and right to the bathroom I went. And I'm like, people's not going to want to see me vlog that. You know, there's a lot of people taking the bathroom selfies, so why try to do the vlogging in the bathroom? My last video I done, um, it was a clean with me video, motivational video, and, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me again, but it was a, uh, it was a clean with me video. And I have a, I have to do the part two, but I was so motivated to do it, and um, I went to go do the second part to finish it up. But I just never got around to it because Saturday I was cleaning, and then uh, we had to go out to my mom's, and we had to keep an eye on her place, and then the kids were getting sick, and had to come back home. Um, went back out there Sunday, and. Um, you know, Sunday was just a mess. I was all in my emotions and feelings and the junk of life. And then Monday, Monday was stressful. I was dealing with the kids. You know, both of them were still sick. They've been sick for a couple of weeks. Medication's not doing it, but the only thing I can do is let it run its course because it's not as bad. But, you know, it's just... Shh. I have yet to do the part two. I have yet to still do the Clean With Me series, and I know as crazy as it is, it's supposed to be motivating and all, but I just, I can't seem to get myself to doing it, and yeah, I'm using a box for the closure right now, because my box is in the, my laundry baskets in our room, but the funny thing is, is Aubrey's in there. And see what I try to do is I try to do the cleaning videos when Aubrey's down for a nap or late at night because both the kids are sleeping I can clean. Um, I can do all this stuff and get it done without like the TV being too loud or you know I'm picking up all the toys and I'm getting drug out as I wash the dishes and it's just it's a mess. Wait, wait buddy. Wait. You just wanted some attention huh? You should just want some attention. But I'm going to wrap this video up and do my other videos. Because I just keep rambling on and on and on and on and on and on and on. But thanks for watching guys.